guys, it's Rick Payway for Gone Jeep, and I'm here with Scott Talon, Jeep Product Director at the SEMA 2022 Jeep booth. We're looking at what's actually a regeneration of last year, two years ago, Moab, proto not prototype, but concept Concept, cars. yep. Because this is Magneto 2.0. 2.0, yeah. Why is it 2.0? Well, 2.0, because we, we took it to the next level. As you know, the first year when we took Magneto to Moab, it was an absolute hit, right? right. So we, we, we put a bunch of batteries in a fully electric Wrangler, something that everyone recognizes instantly, yeah, right? Exactly. Because so for, that's the one that I was driving out there, and I just had a blast just doing what it was supposed to do. And it's so awesome. It's quiet. Yeah. It's comfortable. It's unbelievable off-road because of the torque. So yeah. for 2.0, we just added more of everything more batteries more motors more power more tires more of everything so now we've got twin edm setups in here twin make edm for the motors has no idea yeah, yeah, yeah. electric means. drive modules in okay. here now so right. making a total of 850 horsepower Holy 850 God. pound feet of torque riding on 40 inch tires and the best part through a manual gearbox still. So you've got a traditional six-speed gearbox that you're rolling gears just like yeah. you normally would in a gas, but this is pure electric. So you're off-roading, you're in silence, and you're still doing it the old school way. And a two-speed transfer case. Oh yeah, still have four low. I mean, for the most, most extreme, which we haven't met the most extreme that the Magneto can't handle yet. Right. Um, but if you need it, it's there. You got a two-speed T-case to take the torque just right. to just ridiculous right. levels. So you can start off like in almost any gear, fourth gear and just go. Pick a gear, any gear, not at all, yeah, because no. Because they're EDMs. Exactly, and they've got all that torque right there off idle. So yeah, you can start in fourth gear and just pull right away. Right. So but if, you have two of these in there. Let's take a look under the hood. Yeah, let's take right. a look. So under the hood, of course, you're not going to find a traditional gas engine. But to really showcase it, what you're looking at here is the inverter on top and the battery pack and everything else that goes along with it yeah. to power this beast. Because you have a normal battery. You got a normal battery. You still have your accessories and everything else that needs to be run normally. But as far as the drive unit, this is the beast. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful to look at, too. Uh -huh. It really is. So as far as volts, because everybody understands volts, how many volts? This is a 400 volt system here. Okay. So this is a 400 <laughs> volt system, not quite, quite the 1.21 gigawatts. We're not quite there yet, but we're, we're working on it. That's, that's 3.0. Oh, there you um, go. Yeah, so, but really cool even under the hood to showcase, you know, what is really the, the jewel and everyone loves, right? When you right. pop the hood on a car every time and right. you always want to look at something, this is, this is, this is special, really yep. pretty. Definitely, all right. And then of course, we notice all the blue tint and that goes with your signature blue hooks and all the accents. Yeah, the blue accents. That's another one of the signature items on all of our 4xE models. So as you know, we're launching our, our 4xE Grand Cherokee right now. We've had our 4xE plug-in hybrid Wrangler in the market for a couple of years now, but instantly recognizable with the blue accents, the surf blue tow hooks, right. highlight it. I mean, we always celebrate our tow hooks. We're proud of them. And uh, what a better way to do it and identify the, the EV models um, with that blue tinge to it right. so really right. cool keeping the theme going so you have 40s on beadlock capable wheels beadlock capable wheels riding on 40s with with no issue spinning those and these are the mopar wheels yes they are okay, these well, are we'll move to the back i mean look at look, the seats the the liner it's all in blue and that's really what's cool but again you got a six speed you hop yeah, in the front seat and it looks like a jeep wrangler it's exactly oh, yeah. what you would expect you get behind the wheel Except when you hit the start button, there's no noise. There's a little bit of clicking, some right. electronics you hear happening in the background. Right. Put it in gear and it drives, well, like a, like a normal Jeep would. And this is everything you need right here. Yeah, this is our charge port door here, just like on a regular Wrangler JL 4xE today. You got your charge port door access right here. Plug it up to a level one, level two charger, and you know, That's off you go. Nice. And now here's an interesting thought. Remember in the old days when we were young, or when someone was young, yeah. you'd siphon out gas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So people did that, right? Yeah, no, never. Can you siphon out electricity? Well, yeah, I'm sure that someone will work on that and figure it out, but what's really cool is that, you know, there is technology that allows you to transfer energy from one car to the next. Exactly. So you have vehicle to vehicle charging capabilities right. to where if you've got another Jeep owner you want to you know give a little juice to that mm -hmm. yeah really cool bi-directional right. charging. It's just like having a jerry can on the back instead yeah. you got a cable to cable. Yeah and I think that we'll have some other measures in place to make sure that it's not just a simple tube and uh, <laughs> in, the, in the darkness of night. Yeah. Right. yeah. Exactly. 
And then of course it takes, what, a level two charger? Level two charger is the quickest way to get it, uh, get the fully juiced up and um, yeah, that, that's- And been, this, is, this is just like all your other EVs. Yeah, it's it's really no different. I mean, all of our EVs operate the same way. Um, you know, they've got the charge port right here mounted on the, the the front of the the cowl, basically, and and you plug it in at night. You know, the difference is our Wrangler 4 bay you've got the gas engine combined with the the, the power unit, the EDM motors. Um, that way, no range anxiety. Plus, you can drive 25 miles in all battery mode. So, really, the best of both worlds. But certainly, this helps kind of foreshadow. All right. We are the king of capability from the factory. Where is the future of Jeep? And, and how do we leverage electrification to actually improve on the JL we have in market today? Exactly, and that's the thing about what you do with your Moab concepts. You mm -hmm. actually use them as test beds out in the real world. And people get to come and see them and sit in them and look at them instead of just design studio stuff. It, no, these are very functional. I mean, I, I've driven it. I've, I driven think it, you've yeah. driven it at Moab. Yeah. We all had a chance to get behind the wheel and experience it firsthand. And yeah, there's a lot of really good feedback that we get and we provide to each other as we're going through this process and this transition of how do we make that best EV Wrangler. Okay, so why did you go with a standard transmission? I mean, it's brilliant, it's great, it's the right thing to do. But so many other guys just put a slush box or direct drive. Because it, it, that's the easy thing to do. I mean, we put exactly. the driver in control, right? The Jeep, you are you are in charge of manning that and managing the terrain you're on. And there's no better way to do it except, in my mind, with a stick shift. You, you right. can manage the power and how much you want to put down with, obviously, the T-case and, and your lockers. But the stick shift allows you to, again, manage that torque, how much power, how much throttle response you want to give at that time. And it's just a heck of a lot more fun, right? I mean, if you've ever done the Rubicon with an automatic or a stick. Oh yeah, done both. Manual all day, all Play day. Well. And it's a challenge, but it's, it's just a heck of a lot more fun to row through gears. And to know you're not gonna lose something like that that's really special. And, right. and, and, and you know, a lot of people are gonna really latch on to, I love my manual gearbox still. Well, you know, here's an application with an EV where you can still have it. That's, Pretty cool. That's gonna be cool. All right, so tell us what we really wanna know. We're gonna look at the back here. The whole thing looks like a regular Wrangler. Will Magneto 3.0 look the same? Um, I, I would suspect that we're going to just, again, take it to the next level and, and showcase, all right, where, where is that next level of, of EV capability? And in terms of just not just off-road, but on-road performance, range. How do you manage the power? Again, what are the other ways that you can do this? Power your campsite, power your other vehicles, um, and, and really use it as a lifestyle vehicle, because that's right. what it is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, check it out. It, it's not a regular JL, obviously, but it started life as as one. And when you do all, all this work, all this cool stuff, this is what the consumer wants. You've seen everybody in the aftermarket uh, do all this stuff. They do this all the time, man. Right. You know, here's the Same perfect platform. The and everything. Yeah, stubby bumper, yeah. you know, blue tow hook, of course. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is an off-road rig. It was purpose-built. And um, right now, yeah, the reaction's been phenomenal. So, I mean, I think we're heading in a really good direction. And yeah. again, we got to stay true to the authenticity and being capable. Um, and it's just really cool to be here at SEMA and watch some of the aftermarket starting to really dive into this EV space too. Oh, yeah. And you know, there's a lot of different directions. Well, um, yeah. And trust me, they're gonna find out a way to really have fun well, with the Wrangler. that's really the next question. When can we expect a crate engine version of your EDMs? That's a, that is a good question. A good you know, question, it, huh? it is. It's a great question. Um, you know, no announcements here, of course. But um, you know, I think in the future, customers just like they do today, they're modding the heck out of their Jeeps. They're going to want to change the performance and the power, right. and, and EDMs is going to be a big part of that. Whether they want more range or more power or just more torque, and you know, it can go zero to sixty and. A little over two seconds. I mean, why you would ever want to do that, I have no idea. But just yeah, the fact it's that fun. because it can though, that's yeah. why, right? It's there. It's just another cool benefit of EV technology. That's true. All right. So here's what we want from you guys. We want to know what you think about not only the Magneto, but the future of electrified Jeeps. I know there's going to be a lot of naysayers. Yeah, yeah. Think of it this way: What happened when the acoustic guitar got plugged in? I, it, it transformed. Transformed Music. everything. Jimi Hendrix, right? But did it kill the acoustic guitar? No. No. They live in harmony. They live in harmony. Yeah. That's what we're going to do to... <laughs> Perfect. All right. Let us know what you want. Rick Payway from Gone Jeepin' with Scott Town.